What's up y'all, this is The Curious One and we're kicking it at the ugly table. We're gonna take a look at these figures I just got in today. Very excited for these. These are the Action Force uh, Wave 2A. <clears throat> I'm still waiting on my Wave 1 figures that I have uh, pre-ordered. I don't have all of them pre-ordered, but I do have, uh, I believe the majority, or at least three or four. Um, at the time I couldn't afford to do all of them or I was scared that all of them would show up all at the same time. Um, still waiting for those figures. Big Bad has their shipment just like floating in the ocean waiting for somebody to unload it uh, because our transportation chief or whatever the heck he's called is too busy with his husband to make sure that uh, our shipments are coming in properly. In fact, I believe some of the boats are even get set on fire <laughs> while sitting in the in the uh, bay over there so that's kind of, it's, it's a bit strange um, but anyways just really happy to get these figures I did find them in stock on the uh, valiverse.com went ahead and picked up these three I uh, would have liked to got more there was uh, another figure on there that I did not pick up. I would have liked to pick up some more Scarabs, to be honest with you. My army builders, I typically like to have four. <clears throat> I just think it's a good number, uh, four-man squad. I think it works out well on the shelf as well. Um, so, yeah, this is the third time I'm trying this video because uh, my phone's all jacked up, but... Uh, I think we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at one of these to get started. So we're going to go ahead and check out Duster first, uh, aka uh, Timothy Kennedy, who himself is ex-Special Forces and um, I'm not sure if he's still fighting MMA or if uh, he's done with that yet, uh, but he was a fighter. Um, Here's the rest of the <clears throat> figure uh, figures that are in this line are in this uh, in wave two. You got rollout. Um, I do still have him on pre-order, but I waited to pick him up um, just because these three are it's like a little over a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Um, but getting these three makes it so that all of my pre-orders can't dump on me all at the same time so you know a hundred dollars here hopefully uh three to four figures will come in and then another three or four figures will come in instead of hitting me all at once um which was kind of what i was scared about and uh uh the people over at valiverse did get these shipped out to me pretty quickly and in fact they actually even came in early, so UPS did a pretty good job as well. I was a little scared because it was supposed to come in a couple days, and I would have been at work. I've been having trouble with dickheads still in my packages, so I was a little worried about that. But luckily it came in today while I was off, and uh, I could just walk to the door and grab the package. Don't have to worry about people stealing them. Um, I'm really excited for this figure. I really like him. I think he really, really... Just kind of, in my head, he depicts, like, special forces uh, for some reason. Actually kind of reminds me of Chris Kyle a bit. Uh, then we got the Sergeant Slaughter. We got the Duster. We have the Scarabs. I need to figure out a way to pick up a couple more of these guys. Um, when I picked these guys, these three up off of the uh, Valiverse website, I canceled my pre-order for this guy and this guy at Big Bad Toy Store, but I left my pre-order for this guy. Um, so that way I have at least two. I'm going to try to pick up another two, hopefully. And then I also need to figure out a way to get uh, three more of the Swarm because with the Army Builders, I really like to have four. I think it just works out good having a four-man squad. I think it looks really good on the, on the shelves to have four. Um... You could have more, you could have a few less. That's kind of up to you. I I think it looks really good with four. <clears throat> now this guy, I don't have him pre-ordered. I may try to pick him up though because I do like the plate carrier. Um, I do like the colors. I just don't like the helmet. I did realize that he comes with a Belaclava head. But I believe it's a black 
balaclava head and I would probably repaint it to be gray to match with the uh, the gray on his body and I think that would look really nice um, so if I can go ahead if I can get a hold of him that's probably what I'm gonna do and I'll probably display him that way so <clears throat> have a little scanner here so you can scan that you got the um, file card you can cut out and uh, on the stand it actually has a slot where you can slot that in if that's the way you want to um, display your figures <clears throat> that's really cool for those of us that used to uh, collect GI Joe's back in the day because they always came with the file card on the back of the card uh, so if that's something you want to do if that's the way you want to display yours that's a very good option uh, then you have some action points here that you'll be able to trade in um, for special uh, promotions and stuff that you should be able to uh, check out at Bolliverse.com. I believe they should, he should have it somewhere on there uh, so you can check out what it may be in the future or maybe he hasn't decided yet. I'm not positive. So <clears throat> some really nice art here on the side. Definitely digging it. Uh, but these figures, Bobby himself has said, they are not meant to stay in the box. You are meant to take them out of the box, play with them, and display them. So that's what we're going to do with, the, with these guys. Let's go ahead and get this dude out of his box, and we'll check out the figure and all of his accessories. So here's the insert. A little boring, gray, multiple, uh, looks almost like a gray camouflage kind of deal now I show these typically because if if you don't have uh, dioramas or anything like that uh, sometimes the inserts are cool to uh, display with your figures and or take pictures of the figures in front of this one's a little plain but still if you need something to cover up some wires or anything like that you could probably use that for that all right so here he is in the clamshell lots and lots and lots of accessories Really digging that plate carrier. Um, yeah, I really like it. I hope that um, that's something that Bobby continues to use. And I would actually even like to see it in the uh, classified series. Something similar to it would be great. I, I really dig the, the look of it. So he is uh, actually saran wrapped in here, which is both funny and cool and uh, keeps the accessories from flopping all over the place now I have seen it said I don't have any of the version 1 figures in hand right now but uh, I believe that this used to be back here behind the figure and now it's uh, underneath all right so here he is with all of his accessories um, Dude, that is a lot of accessories. That is way more than you're going to see with a Marvel Legends or a uh, classified figure. I'm not sure I've seen. I'm not sure I've seen this many accessories with anything in this price range. I could be wrong. If you guys want to uh, correct me, you can do that in the uh, comment section. But uh. Here's going to be your stand. Pretty nice looking. You can see that slot right there. That's for the uh, for the file cards. You got four different pegs for uh, different display options. Really nice looking. Um, I'll probably... I may not be using those just because of the way I like to display my figures. I like to put them in scenarios and stuff. Uh, now he does have where my tweezers go now he does have some accessories that are already on his body of course the plate carrier and the um, pistol belt but you can actually remove these magazines from the uh, magazine carrier there and you can place them back in and they do not fall out uh, they can actually be a little bit difficult if you, with your big fat fingers, to get in there. And then, of course, he has his uh, knife that comes uh, 
in the holster. So let's check that out. So it's going to be a Gerber strong arm. Very, very nice knife. I'm not sure how Bobby afforded to uh, include this with the figure. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. Here you go. So it is a 112th scale uh, knife. It looks like I got a little bit of paint damage there, but not too bad. Very, very nice. Very good. Um, focus. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good. Um, representation of the Gerber strong arm. And then, of course, it does fit in the Kydex sheath, which can be placed on a plate carrier and does not fall out. That's always good. Back here on your back, you have his radio. Really dig that plate carrier. I uh, don't believe the pistol mags are removable. No. No, they are not. Neither is uh, his multi-tool or flashlight or, uh, what is that, a Gerber Ghost, I believe. Could be wrong. Got a Kydex uh, holster for his pistols, for his pistol, and then a first aid kit on, his, like, on a leg drop holster. Um, now, this looks a little funky, but it works. I don't mind it too much. Um, makes sense if he doesn't have them, um, what Jim calls it. Uh, oh, I can't even think of it. Anyways, you're going to get two head sculpts. You're going to get the regular head sculpt here. He's going to come with uh, his trigger fingers on already. You're also going to get his MMA fighting face sculpt of him screaming with his big old, I don't know, 50s mustache. So, depending on how you want to display that. Excuse me. I uh, can't remember what um, make and model this uh, pistol is, but it does have a red dot sight on there, pretty tight. I believe it's uh, it's what Tim Kennedy actually um, carries and or uses for his practice. So that's going to fit in your holster. Not going to fall out on you. Like the uh, second wave of uh, snake eyes. Then you're going to get some open grasping hands. one for each side. You're going to get some clasping hands. I'm just going to make it so you can actually get your figure into a pistol, uh, proper pistol uh, stance. You're going to come with some fisted hands. Uh, this is also going to be able to make it so you can correctly hold your rifle. So that's really cool. That's something that I haven't seen in any of the lines yet. Um, I could be wrong, but I haven't seen it yet. Uh, very, very happy about that. Then, of course, he's going to come with this fast helmet. And these parts, yes, they peg in right here. So you can have it either with these as the ear protectors. I'm guessing these are going, supposed to be bulletproof as well. You can remove it like to uh, just display like this or you can take the uh, ear pro and plug in your ear pro and you'll be able to display it like that with the mic come back here which is very cool. Which is all something that you can do with the helmets uh, for real, for real. Now, I may have these backwards. 
this might supposed to be no 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 I'm I, I believe I'm correct now this mic is uh this mic is a very soft material luckily otherwise I probably would have snapped it already so you can slap these on and then it looks like they should be able to move out of the way and or be placed down and be in use so here the figure is with his helmet with the ear pro on now you also are going to get these uh, little plug-in NVGs night vision goggles which you can display like that or you can pop them out and uh, turn them upside down to make it look as though he has them flipped up now Technically, that is incorrect, I believe, but it works. I mean, it's an action figure. He's got them flipped up. I mean, it now, if he were to just straight throw them on, like flip it down, it would be backwards, but it works for, for the purpose. I, th I think it looks good. And then uh, he's also going to come with just straight up ear pro. So if you want to display him with just his ear pro and uh, mic on, you can also do that. Probably have to play with it a bit to get it to sit just right. But that's what that would look like. Yeah, you may have to heat him up and uh, form him a little bit to get him to fit exactly properly. But that's still cool, man. Like, really happy with that with that option. Uh, you could also use it for for other figures as well Then finally you're gonna get his scar heavy. I believe it's a scar heavy and It's also gonna have a grenade launcher now. This is a rep replica of um, <clears throat> a rifle that that Tim Kennedy uses uh, short of the grenade launcher um, just because you're not allowed to own that in America as a civilian unless you're using it for a uh, can launcher or flares. So technically, if he wanted to, he could put a grenade launcher on uh, on his firearm. He just wouldn't be able to buy high explosive rounds for it as far as I know. But that looks really nice. Um, now, this is the first... Uh, Valiverse rifle that I have in hand. Uh, I do have all three sets um, pre-ordered and I believe the uh, Charlie set, I have two sets pre-ordered. Um, very excited to get the, those in hand, but uh, fortunately I'm still waiting. That sucks ass because I should have had them by now and every other channel has them already. Very, very annoying. But uh, yeah, you can remove the magazine and uh, place it back in. So that is great. All right, so as you can see here, you are able to get him into a bit of a more realistic firing pose than you would be able to get into, uh, get a lot of figures into. Uh, I could probably play with it a little bit more and make it even better, but I think it looks really good the way it is. Um, those clasping hands are definitely going to come in to, uh, going to definitely see some good use. Uh, now, unfortunately, his trigger finger did start to get some stress on it as I was trying to get him into this pose. See if it even shows up. I don't think I want to be able to get it to focus good enough, but just trust me, there's a stress line on his uh, trigger finger there. But yeah, that that is a nice action pose right there, I think. All he needs is some uh, blast effects, and that would be perfect. Alright, so here he is next to the Duke from the Classified series. He's rocking a uh, 
marauders.com um rifle uh as you can see i have him with a vertical grip which kind of helps uh for the fact that he only has just the trigger finger hands um can get him in a decent firing position but not i don't think quite as good as the uh action force um and the clasping hand i think definitely is going to come in uh handy as far as that goes definitely when it comes to pistol shooting all right so as you can see you can kind of you can kind of fudge it with the uh with the duke figure if you put him in a certain angle but when you look at duster like i mean look at that that's how you fire a pistol like it's spot on I think the only thing that I'm seeing that I'm actually very um, disappointed in is the lack of uh, boot cuts. That is something that I complain about a lot. If you uh, watch it, any of my other reviews, you'll know that uh, it's definitely something that I complain about, um, the lack of. But other than that, I gotta tell you this figure is fucking amazing um, definitely dig everything about it other than that one thing so here he is next to one of the bigger um, G.I. Joe classified figures and next to one of the smaller cl uh, classified <laughs> I'm showing you uh, him with these two because I assume if you're not picking up all the uh, action force figures then I'm assuming any one that you pick and choose to pick up you're probably gonna try to drop it in on your classified shelves I think he'll fit just fine I believe he's just a tad bit taller than the average but um, because the classified vary so much in uh, height I think that uh, these figures should all fit in perfectly with your classified figures um, so if you're mainly picking up GI Joe's and you're kind of iffy about this uh, this um, line I strongly suggest yeah go for it dude pull the trigger these definitely look very very good come with tons of accessories they will fit in with your shelves you're gonna be able to get them in dynamic shooting stances which you can use uh, to make your classified shelves look a little bit more realistic um, so you can have something like this but then you throw him in there and he's like in a for real shooting stance and I think that that will bring something to your shelf that'll make it look a little bit, a bit more accurate like as you could see um, with this guy I had him in a pretty good rifle shooting stance not perfect but pretty good so you slap him in there with that and you slap him in like that and it gives more credibility to the other figure. You know what I mean? Or maybe that's just how I'm feeling about it. Anyways, you guys can let me know down in the comment section. Um, I hope you guys like these figures as much as I do. I hope you had fun watching me uh, kind of junk ramble about them. Um, anyways, y'all have a good night. Try to stay out of trouble and y'all take it easy, all right? Peace.